Here's everything you need to know about the fourth house in natal astrology. And make sure that you stick around until the end of this video, where I'll be sharing with you more tools and resources for how you can master the houses within your natal chart. The fourth house is traditionally known as the Imam Cheli or the lower heavens, because the fourth house represents the lowest angle within our charts. For that reason, it's also called the subterranean angle or the cave of the planets. The fourth house represents the father and family, and in traditional astrology, the father is the only parent represented by the fourth house. Now, in my natal astrology practice, to distinguish between the notion of father and family in the fourth house, I use the fourth house itself to represent the family as a unit of people and the ruler of the fourth house to specifically represent the father. Planets in the fourth house will specifically impact the sorts of family life you found yourself growing up in, whereas Planets in aspects to the ruler of the fourth house are going to represent the sort of person your father showed up as within your life. One of the reasons why we are so adamant in traditional astrology that the fourth house represents the father is because if we apply the Chaldean order to the fourth house in the same way as we've applied it to the first house having a relationship with Saturn, the second house having a relationship with Jupiter, and the third house having a relationship with Mars, we will see that on the Chaldean order of Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon, the Sun has a natural association with the fourth house. And the reason why the ancients said that the sun had a natural association with the fourth house is because the fourth house has always and will always remain the house of the father within traditional astrology. The fourth house can also represent our real estate and our relationship to house and home later on in life. But fundamentally, the fourth house will always have to do with our family of origin as well as the father or lack thereof that we had within that family. As an angular house, the fourth house makes a square aspect to the ascendant, which causes the fourth house to be a very powerful house in the formation of our natal promise. Even though the fourth house is an angular house, and planets in the fourth house technically should have 100% power in order to show their stuff, just like all the other angular houses, planets within the fourth house tend to work in a more subterranean way which, on first glance, would make them seem to be weaker than planets in other angular houses. However, since the fourth house represents our fundamental relationship to our family and the home that we were born into as children, I found that planets in the fourth house can oftentimes have an even more powerful effect on the sort of human beings who we become rather than planets in any of the other houses, because our fourth house also represents our roots within the world. And as we all know, the soil that we were initially planted in usually has a lot to do with the foundational resources that we have in order to navigate our way through the world. From a medical astrology perspective, the fourth house is having to do with our stomach, and on a metaphysical level, the fourth house has to do with how we were nourished within our childhood home. To receive a free sample chapter of my book, Mastering Traditional Astrology, set to be published in Spring 2023, sign up for my newsletter down below where you'll also gain access to other giveaways as well as free lectures from my private masterclass series. If you've enjoyed this video on the 4th house, then you're definitely going to love this video on the 5th house. 